Hey guys, welcome to Hurting Little Cows, to the glory of God. If you are seeing this, I've already delivered the baby because we're going to post this in a couple days. But this is the start of our birth journey. So if you don't want to watch this, then go away. We're going to add some more sections. But it is one o'clock on May 17th, which is my due date. And this morning we were sitting and doing Bible and I suddenly felt like I had used the bathroom. So I got up to go and my water broke while I was there. So um, for those who haven't watched our channel to know our bath birth stories, I tend to have my water break and then no contractions start for a while. So my midwives, um, we deliver at the hospital because of um, group B strep, which I have had multiple pregnancies. And my midwives had agreed that if my water broke and contractions didn't start, I could come in and get a dose of antibiotics and then go home until my next dose of antibiotics. So, so we're pumping I'm on antibiotics. The right so it's one o'clock. Um, we should be going home one thirty ish, and I can stay home until my next dose would be at four thirty because it's every four hours. So, right? No, five thirty. Five o'clock. Five thirty by the time I get done. So anyhow, I will need to come back in for another dose of antibiotics, and maybe by that time I'll be in full blown labor, and we'll have a baby soon. Maybe it'll be another dose of antibiotics, and then back home. I don't know. Um, we're not doing anything right now to push along the labor because usually once my water breaks, labor starts multiple hours afterwards and I don't really want to induce anything if I don't have to, but that's where we are right now. They monitored baby for 20 minutes. He was doing really well and I asked to get off the monitor because I didn't want to sit in a certain position. He was only happy if I sat. He was happy the whole time, but if I moved, the monitor moved and wasn't catching him. So yeah, this is my lovely little, it always burns when they put the penicillin. So this is my lovely little contraption. So far today, I have my favorite midwife is on call till tomorrow morning. So baby should come before tomorrow morning. And I've had Maddie was my first nurse. She was very nice and I think she went off to lunch. So we now have Madeline and she's very good too. And she's been telling me like exactly what she's doing on the computer and let me look at all my med bags and everything. Cause I'm one of those patients that wants to make sure I'm getting the right meds. I wanna make sure that I'm doing the things that I need to do, but I don't want to come across as a patient who doesn't cooperate with the nurses, but I, from what everyone has said, they all wanted me as a patient because I'm easy to deal with. So. I heard there was arm wrestling going on <laughs> or some, some sort of wrestling. Yes. They say that I'm easy to deal with, but I feel like I'm not because I say no to a lot of the medical interventions. Even though I'm sitting here in the hospital, I still say no to a lot of those things. Like after baby, we don't do the hepatitis B, I don't do the eye drops, I don't do all, any of those things. So I always feel like maybe I'm a hard patient. But no, they said I'm an easy patient and they were excited to have me. And one of my favorite nurses is on call tonight and tomorrow night, so that's exciting. I wrote to like my favorite people and said, hey, I'm here, so. <laughs> but I don't wanna let it out to the Facebook world yet that I'm in labor because then I feel like a watch pot that everybody's watching. So we will post this, we'll add to this in a couple hours or whenever something changes. And eventually at the end of this video, you'll see a brand new baby. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey, so the sun's in my face. So if you're seeing this video, this is after the first one. We came home from the hospital and I have to go back in in about an hour-ish to go get another dose of medicine. I'm definitely having contractions. Um, things are picking up. I'd say it's early labor. Like I'm not saying we're having a baby right now, but the my contractions have started that are doing progress to get to baby. So we are gonna go in about an hour. We gotta be there about five and the kids are gonna stay home and have supper and all of that stuff. And then we will make arrangements for who is ever driving us back and forth and doing all those things. But who knows when this baby comes, this baby could come <laughs> with how my labors progress once it starts. Baby could come shortly after supper time or we could be waiting until tomorrow morning. So we'll see. <laughs> but we will do an update on the next thing that happens probably at the hospital with another IV. See you in a little bit. Hey guys, welcome to Hurting Little Cows. Oh, I forgot this is part of the video. So anyway, it is 5.45. We are here waiting on the penicillin, which we thought would be here already. But we came over to the hospital, had someone drop us off because I felt by the time we get the penicillin in, I'm not going to feel like going home because the contractions are getting stronger. I don't know exactly when baby's going to be born. We took a baby pool is that what you do it we all guessed what how, guesses yeah. guesses of how big we thought baby was going to be like within our family how big baby is going to be and what time baby is going to be born so we'll see who's right um my guess probably won't be right but <laughs> i had guesses from 6 45 till 10 30 tonight so we'll see if baby's even born tonight i don't know 
but we had a good nurse who got me a good IV. So I'm excited about that because this is going to stay in for a couple days. So I'm glad it's good one. And she's supposed to be coming back with penicillin right now. I just ordered something for supper, which we'll see how much I feel like eating, but I figured I'd get something so that if I want to eat, I can. What else? I think that's about it. There's not much to report right now other than the contractions are becoming more uncomfortable. And for me, once they start, they can go really fast. So I just figured I didn't want to try to go home in the middle of bedtime and try to deal with the chaos of that. I'd rather sit here and let things happen. So I still haven't changed into what I'm going to wear for um, delivery and stuff, but I will do that soon. Not that I'm going to deliver soon, just I'm going to change into that soon. But we will see you guys in a little bit to give you another update. Hey guys, so update, it's 6.15. I am on the penicillin, which will take about a half hour or whatever to drip. And we just found out that my nurse had my dad, so I was wearing my shirt for my dad, as just, this is my labor outfit. And she was one of my dad's students and she loved my dad. And she's been super nice to me and is telling me I don't have to be on the monitor. She has felt contractions, like felt my stomach and felt contractions. So she knows that I'm actually contracting but I don't make a big deal during contractions. So no, you don't. I was hoping that she was like actually believing I was <laughs> having them. This and is then, the same face you make when you're actually pushing a baby. <laughs> so then um, she said that because I'm so low risk, they're going to just check me with a Doppler every hour to check on baby instead of putting me back on the monitor, which I really, really like because I'm not a big monitor person. And so, yeah, they were just, I'm having a little bit of food because they said I could eat. So... I think that's all that's going on. We will do an update in a little bit. I'm probably going to miss my time of when I said baby because I, I picked a really early time because I figured it was like price is right. It's going to go over time. So I said 6.45. <laughs> so that's probably not going to happen. But mm -hmm. but that's okay. I got my penicillin and we're having fun with our nurse. And this nurse is on until 7. And then one of my other favorite nurses comes on. And then this nurse comes back in tomorrow. So I'm happy and with then my our nursing. And other nurse comes back tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, the other nurse that I like for the night nurse is again the next night. So... I'm excited about my Cover. choices. And my midwife is the one that I really like. Like, she's on till tomorrow morning. I will have a baby before tomorrow morning with how contractions are going. Unless, unless God has other points. But now I have the hiccups. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi. If you're seeing this, we haven't had a baby yet. But it is now quarter of eight. And I'm feeling a lot of downward pressure but not pushy or anything like that yet so they've come in and they've checked all the baby gear to make sure that it functions like it's supposed to and they're getting all the postpartum medicines but I don't feel like I need the midwife to come in and check me or anything yet even though she's here so they're just waiting on my timing <laughs> Mark's ready for me to call the midwife in and have her get us that information but I I feel like I still have a little bit of time so how much time I don't know <laughs> A little bit of time so we'll see what do you have to say mark nothing just saying it's eight well seven sorry seven forty four that's right i was thinking i can't read time, times when i'm in labor <laughs> so, mm, i'm shooting for before nine o'clock uncomfortable contractions everybody here realizes i'm in labor that's a good thing right mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why the nurses are like we're gonna go get this stuff ready so we'll see yeah. okay we'll see you in a little bit guys so it is 9 25 um i'm still having contractions but they're very manageable but they're definitely getting baby in a better position they just did a doppler a little bit ago and he is lower and he's more midline so lined up to where he's supposed to be i'm choosing not to do any checks so we're just kind of waiting for baby they did come in and get the thing already here. baby cooker ready um, it's not turned on, but they checked everything. They have everything in place, and they want me to give them a few minutes warning <laughs> before I'm ready to have this baby. But for me, these contractions are very manageable, and I feel like I could continue having them for a while without being worn out or tired by them. But baby's definitely getting lower. I can feel feel the right things. But I also don't want to um, get checked too early and be disappointed that I'm not as far along as I feel I am. So I'm having a contraction right now. This is like what my 
contractions look like. Um, this is what your contractions look like 10 seconds before you have a baby, too. Though. So, yeah. So, this it's hard to tell by my face. I feel like maybe they're, like, being preemptive and things, but they all feel like they need to get stuff ready. So, we'll see. We'll see what it is. We'll update you in a little bit. But as of 925, no baby yet. No crazy hospital room. They've left us alone. So, it's good. <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. Oh, hi, oh, baby. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, oh. Oh. Do you want to sit up? Oh, oh, he's good. 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 Oh, I try to go above and beyond yeah. in everything. He didn't want the pet, so she told you no pet. Yes. All right. See, I, I don't want to put you. A witness for that. I know. I don't want to put you on edge. That you know, I might need the pets. <laughs> well, I mean, it's ordered. It's literally hanging. You bet an IV. Uh, we just have to attach and mm -hmm. let it go. So that you literally don't have any. Well, well, I'm both shy. Hello, Elijah. Like just one. Do you like your courage? Okay. Did you know you have a name, you baby? Yep. He's like, yes, they call it to me all the time. Okay, I've got a, I've got so sweet. He is. How do we do it, baby? He's like, bleh, bleh. How do we do it, baby? So if you've been watching along, baby was born. And so he was born at 2.10 a.m. It's now, I don't know, 10. 38. Okay. Half about a half an hour ago. And... Everything went good. Um, if you were watching the videos, I'm trying to remember, it was about one o'clock. Um, contractions had kind of been the same, like definitely was feeling them, feeling some pressure. But around one, I suddenly got up to use the bathroom and that I leaked more fluid or amniotic fluid. And I started feeling them in my back, which I had not been feeling the contractions in my back. And so that was about one. And they just were getting worse, I guess you would say. I mean, they weren't worse. They were kind of the same that whole time. But I was feeling them in my back. And so we called in the midwife and all of that stuff. And we, they said that I was ready. And so he was born in one push and <laughs> everything is good. Slid right out. Yeah. We had, um, everyone was healthy. I didn't have excessive bleeding. That's a story for a different time, but things are good. And so we're going to go rest with this little one now. Come and back later for a full story. Yes, and you'll get to see pictures of him meeting his siblings tomorrow. Yay. Or videos or whatever. So, yes, we're all doing well. So Elisha Courage was born at 210 on May 18th. Yep. Okay. Here he going. Here he is. How many fingers and toes is that kid here? He's got five. What you got, bud? Five. Mm. Some toes in here. Toes. Stuck on there. I can't feel the toes. There are those toes. Look at all those toes. He very much reminds me of Malachi. You think so? That is a very Malachi face. Hi, very Lisa. What are you doing, you little like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Daddy and his baby. We waited a long time. Nine months, and the last day was a little long. <laughs> You're so ready to come out, and you all help me. I'm so, so annoyed that uh, this is not the thing I was trying to eat from earlier. <laughs> this hand thing is not out. the same thing. <laughs> it's dry. It's dry. <laughs> I think he looks like Malachi. Yeah. Are you a Malachi twin, you baby? <laughs> Are you a little twin oh, twin? Man. Hello, <laughs> little scrumple face <baby. laughs> What do you think, Mama? I think he's pretty cute. I think he is too. <laughs> he did a good job. Yeah, was. Yeah, was a good job. <laughs> Yeah, he's little. You gotta be very gentle with him. Hello, I'm gentle with him. I haven't been in the hospital in this part of 
in the hospital mm -hmm. since Malachi was born. Yeah, it is. So I don't know what my way around. Gideon, what do you think of that guy? What do you think of that baby Malachi? Mm -hmm. You like, like him? him? Yeah. I think he looks like you. <laughs> Hey, you're right. What do you think, bud? He's cute. He is cute. He's adorable. Uh, Gideon does not want to share. He's like, can I have a turn again? Where's my Elisha baby? Hey, Abigail, what do you think? He's trying to squish down in your arm. Hold on. He likes to get squishy. Yep, put him there so you can see him. Old baby. <laughs> squishy old well, he baby. wants to like squish down like this and then he can't see him. What do you say? What do you think of that? Looks super cute. <laughs> super cute. Wait, did you say you look super cute or you look super cute? <laughs> you look good. Yeah. Well, you're super cute too. Thanks. He's a Dorabi diddly bubble. You like him? Right now. Mm -hmm. You should keep him? What? Yes. Hello, little manly manly man. I think he's pretty adorable. He's excited about it. We'll come back. So that little foot warmer, the thing she put on his foot, makes it warm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're trying to open your little eyes. You got one open. Yeah. Oh, that was a very, very Uriah look. That was, yeah. was that not Uriah? Yeah. Sure. He is. His nose is so thin. No, this one's mommy's. Okay, quick good morning to Facebook world. This is Elisha. He was born on Saturday at two in the morning. So it is now Sunday at nine in the morning. So we're a little over 24 hours old, almost 30 hours old. Yeah, we have been at the hospital um, where I gave birth and he is doing great. We are not, we are not headed out to church this morning. Um, but the family is headed up to church and I am here at the hospital. We'll be doing all our discharge paperwork and the family will come pick me up when church time is over. But this is our little cutie. He doesn't say hi to the camera yet, but he's just absolutely perfect. Thank you for all the prayers and everything. We really do appreciate them. Good morning, daddy. Good morning, Daddy. Do you see me? That tongue's still going. I still think I'm so hungry. I've been eating for the last hour and a half, but I still think I'm hungry. Yeah, I love you, Daddy. Bye-bye. So this is the last part of the video. So it is now when, no, Tuesday. <laughs> he is three and a half days old in about an hour. And Everything you saw in that video was time stamped. I didn't know if I was going to share everything that was on there, but labor went exactly as God wanted it to. Um, we thought that things would go faster because that's been my um, process in the past. It's just been how my experience, but there were some things going on at the hospital where other women needed help more than I did. And it was nice to just have some time to be able to do what we chose to do. Um, in birth to not have anybody forcing anything on us. We were able to just be in the room by ourselves. They came and checked on baby once in a while. And when things got started, things got started fast and we had baby within an hour. But up until that point, everything was very manageable. We were having fun through the labor and delivery, like just sitting there visiting with each other and everything. And God had a perfect plan for it. And so I'm glad that we just listened to my body. Didn't rush anything because when you decide to do interventions or things like that it can lead to more and more interventions and it just came out perfect timing wise we were able to rest after baby was born um mark and i got moved to another room and we were able to rest for a little bit mark came home got the kids when you saw those videos of them meeting their brother and they actually let me out of the hospital um so i went home sunday afternoon so he was like 36 hours. 36 hours old or something and since then we've been able to be home everybody's healthy we'll go back for weight checks and everything tomorrow um but yeah we're very um happy with everything that happened so we will do a more advanced what happened in labor video at another time but enjoy while you have this so 
Um, if you haven't subscribed or liked our channel, there's going to be a lot more baby content. So please do that. We'll see you guys next time on Hurting Little Cows to the Glory of God.